Our hearts are broken as we mourn the sudden death of our dear friend and colleague, Elise Finch. She passed away yesterday at the age of 51. Elise was an accomplished journalist and meteorologist and shared her talents with us and with you for 16 years here at CBS2. Elise was a proud Mount Vernon native, making her job, her responsibilities extra special because she was covering the communities that shaped her life. Here at CBS2, she fell in love and started a family. Tonight, our deepest sympathy these are with her husband, Greg, who's a CBS2 photojournalist, their beautiful six-year-old daughter, Grace, Elise's parents and sister and her children, as we pay tribute to our friend who was so confident and giving. Elise was a bright light, a meteorologist with a master's degree who knew her stuff and helped us understand it to stay safe. So we have cars floating, even some emergency vehicles have gotten stranded in this water. I mean, this is a dangerous situation. She'd break down the complex with refreshing candor. So let's go ahead and take a look outside. Hard to do. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, that's the look. She gave us the forecast, always ready with perspective. So right now, we're at uh, number one least snowy season, which just 2.3 inches of snow, we could certainly turn that around in the next 24 to 36 hours. Elise was on the air this Friday. Her death Sunday was sudden and unexpected, leaving us all trying to understand how could this happen to this vibrant woman who was only 51 years old. The multiple award winner was born in Mount Vernon and graduated from Mount Vernon High School. She earned a Bachelor of Science degree from Georgetown University, where she received the prestigious President's Award. She had a Master's of Science degree in broadcast journalism from Syracuse University. However, pink and green would be her primary colors for the rest of her life. She reported on the Divine Nine, the four African-American sororities and five fraternities that make up the National Panhellenic Council. For some people, black Greek life is literally a family affair. That's the case for my mother, sister, niece, and me. We are all members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Elise was committed to AKA's dedication to family, academics, a lasting sisterhood, and community service. In the summer of 2013, Elise married her co-worker, Greg Henriquez, a photographer at CBS2. Their wedding was glorious in Yonkers. Their beautiful daughter, Grace, sent good wishes to her mom on her birthday a few months ago. Happy, I hope. <laughs> Happy birthday. I hope you have a very good, 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 good day. <laughs> <laughs> During her 16 years here, Elise gave us all good days. Whether she was doing the weather or was involved in our station's nonprofit events, including the Susan G. Komen Sisters for the Cure event, there was that smile. She was our bright light.